In my last video, I went to several places looking for items to resell. I stopped at a random estate sale and the prices were high, but this nice lady shared some video games with me. I listed them all and one's already sold. Then I hit up some thrift stores. The first stop, the highlights were at Thomas, the train lot I paid $20 for, which I actually broke up into three different lots. A metal train lot, a wooden train lot, and then there were some random Melissa and Doug pieces that aren't really worth that much. Everything is listed, so fingers crossed. I also found a pigeon that sells for like $20 or $30, but he found a home for about 10 minutes, and then she didn't want him anymore, so he got listed. And then I picked up a sealed weather radio and a new wave oven from some different thrift stores. The radio got listed, but the new wave, it's, uh, it's still sitting on the floor of my office. And that brings us to part two and the rest of the day. So I'm editing this video and I feel like I should break in here and because I, I feel like I need to show you my failures as well as my successes. And this is a pretty big failure. Did you guys catch it? Let me show you again. Still don't get it? Let me let me show you one more time. It's, it's the shoes. I, sh I should have at least looked them up. Come to find out, I looked them up when I was editing this video. They're a collab between Reebok and Pharrell. They're called Ice Cream Board Flips. And when I picked them up, they didn't have any markings that I could see, but I noticed a little ice cream thing on the back and they felt cheap, so I, I put them back. Come to find out, these board flips sell for some pretty good money. There's not a lot of action on eBay, but I did look on Terapeak, and there's been several that have sold between $90 and over $100. Also found them on Depop and Goat, so I definitely should have at least looked them up. I, I feel like a failure, at, at, on this one at least. I, I made a mistake. I just left like a hundred dollars just sitting at the thrift store, but sometimes it happens. It's a Cars DVD. If you ever find that on VHS, well, I'll just show the Cars on the screen. It's amazing. Just found these two jerseys. Got a St. Louis Cardinals Molina. I have no idea who that is. The jersey is only four seventy-five. It's heavy and stitched. Same thing with this Miami Marlins one. Stanton, no idea who he is, but it's stitched. Nice jersey. Gonna pay four seventy five. May not be worth it, but I'm grabbing them. So just grabbed the two jerseys. Paid four seventy five a piece. Should have done some more research on them. I have no idea. I mean, I did a quick check, and comps are anywhere from twelve dollars to a hundred. Should have done some more research on them, but honestly, it's lunchtime, and I'm getting hangry. Hello future editing me again uh, about those jerseys. Giancarlo Stanton does not play for the Miami Marlins anymore. So his jerseys are gonna take a while to sell. It, it, they do still sell, but pretty slow. So I've got it marked at $39.99. We'll see what happens. Yadier, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yadier Molina does still play for the St. Louis Cardinals. He's actually played for them since 2004. That's a pretty long career. But his jerseys do actually sell. So I've got both of them marked at $39.99. We'll see what happens. I've got best offer turned on. Probably not the best buys I've ever made. But like I said, I was hangry and probably not thinking straight. So I'm over here looking at sealed VHS and I look up and I see this creepy thing. I have no idea what that is. So let's check out Google Lens. If you don't know anything about Google Lens, check this out. It's a Batman Unlimited figure, 12 inch figure. Looks like it goes for like $28 on eBay. They want six for it. Yeah, $6. I'm going to pass, but. Pretty cool, just wanted to show you Google Lens. Looking through the clothes, I just found this thing, Adidas basketball, Duke basketball, definitely a vintage, size large, just a little bit of dinginess on the light areas there, but I, I can't leave it behind for five bucks. I'm gonna check out the back. How, how awesome is that? Somebody's gonna want that. I can't leave it behind. Yamaha Equalizer GE20. It's only one listed with 39 watchers. 
Six sold, 175. You want 20. I'm still gonna take a chance. That's a pretty quick, pretty good sell through. Filling up the car, that's what I like. Got the Duke basketball pullover. That's, uh, I don't know, I just couldn't leave it behind. It's probably not worth a whole lot, but I just think it's cool. Definitely vintage. Oh, and she only charged me $3 for it, so can't beat that. Got the equalizer for $19.95. Hopefully that's gonna be a quick sale. There's not a whole lot that goes wrong with these things. I've never had one that didn't work. I did plug it in, power's on, so I think we're good. At least I hope so. Pay $20 for it, so kinda paid up. But it should be a quick sale. Nice clip. Oh, here we go. Two ninety nine, two ninety nine. Yeah, I'll take those. Throw some comps on the screen. LL Bean chamois shirt, by seventeen, thirty three ninety nine. Always pick these up. They sell super quick. Running out of room, but I don't mind. Got the LL Bean chamois shirt, chamois shirt. Not real sure how to pronounce it. Made in the USA. Definitely vintage. If you ever see these, pick them up. They they sell super quick. Pay three ninety nine for it. Should get somewhere between twenty and thirty. Got the two golf clubs. I'll throw some comps up on the screen. Pay two ninety nine a piece. Mizuno is definitely a good one. That's a bolo. Mizuno is a really high end golf brand. Adams is pretty good too. So be on the lookout for both of those. Herman Survivor boots. Not a brand I would normally pick up, but they were only ten bucks and they are basically new. They may have been worn once. They're steel toe, waterproof. I think I can get forty dollars for them plus shipping. This is a new brand for me, the original Muck Boot Company. Never heard of them, but I looked up comps. They're only $6.99, they're rubber, so they should clean up real easy. Comps on them are pretty good. I'll throw, some, I'll throw them on the screen there. And then finally, this weird pair of boots here. I just bought them because they're Dan Post brand. Don't know anything about them. Tried to look them up by the number on the inside. Couldn't find anything, but they're in good condition. Only paid $10, so kind of taking a flyer on it. I'll do some research and let you know. All right, last time I'm going to interrupt, I promise, but I've got two things for you. Number one, the original Muck Boot Company. Definitely be on the lookout for that brand. If you search for used original Muck Boot Company on eBay, you get 84 listings and 214 have sold. That's over a 200% sell-through rate. That's really good, especially for shoes. And then the other boots, the Dan Post boots, the weird ones, I couldn't find anything anywhere. I Google lens them, I searched by the item number, could not find an exact match anywhere. So I reached out to my buddy Wyatt, he's from Texas, knows a lot more about boots than I do, and he said to list them high and see what happens. He couldn't find an exact match either. He thought they were pretty rare. Doesn't necessarily mean they're valuable, just hard to find. So we listed them for $115 on eBay and Facebook Marketplace, put the best offer on, and we'll see what happens, who knows. But I did actually go to two more thrift stores, didn't find anything there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.